Patrick Gallagher, welcome to uh, A Minute with Max. Um, where were you born? Uh, I was born in Sydney, Max, although we were living in Cranbach at the time, but mum and dad had to, uh, or mum had to come down to Sydney to give birth. She had uh, danger of having blue babies. Uh -huh. um, so you're a Sydney boy, pretty much. Sort of, sort of, yeah. Sort of, yeah. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> I got to Sydney in 1970. So. Uh, uh, how long have you been in the, uh, the hospitality industry? Uh, legally, since about 1980. Prior to that, I was uh, delivering uh, delivering grog at the age of 12 with uh, uh, from our bottle shop from, from our pub in Holston Park. But uh, uh, from, but legally, from eight, from 1980. From 1980, uh, you currently run uh, three hotels. Yes, uh -huh. all for um, the family. One for uh, one's at uh, in uh, at uh, Parramatta, one's at uh, Tremoyne, yes. and the other is North Sydney. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, who was what was your uh, your first job? In the, oh, your first job at anything? Uh, well, first job was uh, was uh, working uh, in the Warilla Hotel in uh, Warilla, which is down in Wollongong. Mm -hmm. uh, best boss you've ever worked for? I've only had two. Uh, one is Mike Kilcary and the other is my father. <laughs> um, and I hope Mike isn't watching, but I'll have to say my father. <laughs> uh, why, why was your dad your best boss? I think one of the main reasons would be that uh, he has a tremendous capacity for trust and would uh, allow, uh, allow me to do what I want to do. Yeah, so giving you some freedom to do it. Yes. Best advice you've ever had? Um, would be persist and never give up. Yeah. Uh, best book you've ever read? I, I like the classics, so uh, To Kill a Mockingbird and uh, Pride and Prejudice. What about a favourite quote? The old Nike quote, just do it. <laughs> when you walk into a hotel, what's the first thing you look for? I look, I try to see what sort of atmosphere is being generated by the staff and the uh, and perhaps the management. And if you walk into a bistro, what's a, a turn off? Biggest turn off. I think the biggest turn off anywhere in the hotel is mess, but it's even more so when you walk into a bistro and you know things need to things need to sparkle when you're around food. Three publicans you most admire. Okay, that's it. that was a hard one. I would say Arthur Laundy, because of his ability to stay close to his regulars, even though he's running an enormous operation. And I would also say um, Neville Bayfield, because he was one of those publicans who had a bit of a go pre-poker machines when hotels generally were struggling and he didn't have the fallback of poker machines and set new standards. And the third? And the third one, I'd have to say Mum and Dad, because... Uh, yeah. They could walk into any pub and overnight they could put it up. They're pretty darn good, yeah. Um, what about uh, uh, an achievement? Is there one achievement you're most proud of? Um, I, I think uh, the PJ's brand, the PJ Gallagher's Irish pub brand. I think that's uh, something yeah. that's uh, worked well for us and it's uh, it embodies everything there is in a traditional sort of a pub and it's, uh, it's proven to be a consistent performer for us. Uh, is there? A, a, do you have an embarrassing moment? Um, well, I guess I guess I should have expected this, but after years of running a, a nightclub in Pennant Hills called Patrick's, uh, and making people take their shirts off in front of uh, six or seven hundred people on their birthday, I was made to take mine off <laughs> at the age of thirty, <laughs> when I probably least would have liked to have taken it off. Um, two people you'd most like to have uh, dinner with? I think. Uh, Muhammad Ali would be a very entertaining dinner companion and I think uh, maybe not so entertaining but certainly interesting would be Michael Collins who led the IRA around the time of the partitioning of uh, Northern Ireland and Ireland. Mm, that's deep. Um, finally, the best idea you've ever used to bring customers into your pub? I think the best thing that I would have done to do that would be to employ people that are better at handling people or better with people than I am. Ah, good. Patrick, thanks for spending a minute with Max. Okay, Max.